Well, it's an absolute beautiful morning to be bobtailing to go pick up a new trailer. All right, so despite being a, being a pretty crappy day to go pick up a trailer, um, I'm pretty excited. I have had my eye on this trailer since before I got into hauling cars, doing hot shot. Always love this trailer. They're hard to come by and part of it was they had always been pretty expensive. Now I found one. I, uh, I feel very comfortable that it is what it says it is, what they say it is. So I'm traveling three and a half hours uh, to go look at this. Um, it's in Bristolville, Ohio and uh, I'm feeling pretty confident so it's pouring but uh, hopefully we get at least a break in the rain I want to crawl underneath the trailer and just you know do a little inspecting but from the what I've been told this trailer had only been used three times now these trailers were never really bought for people to use for commercial use uh, because they were so expensive people just overlooked them and you know ended up getting like a Kaufman or or whatever so we'll show you the trailer when we get there and I'll show you there's a little bit of bad news that I had already been told about um, before I got here we'll go over all that but next time you see we'll be pulling in uh, to the trailer dealer we got an hour and two minutes and uh, we'll check up with you guys then <coughs> all right we're pulling up GPS says there should be a trailer dealer up here on the right. I see. Okay. I see trailers. That's good. Um, I see a lot of livestock trailers. Let's, uh, let's pull in here. You've arrived at your destination. Hmm. Where is the trailer? So park over. Ha ah, ha! I see it. I see it. I see it. All right, it's right here in front of me. And uh, let me hop out and see how good this trailer is. So we are hooked up to the new trailer. As you can probably see in the window back here, it's a wedge and it happens to be all aluminum. So I know everybody's going to ask, um, like if you could run this non CDL or whatever. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it across the scale here. This parking lot at this place is like bad. Anyways, we're gonna run it across the scale here and see what the weight is empty in this. I've got probably like a three quarters of a tank of fuel. So let's see what this weighs, get a scale ticket, and I'll still show you guys a trailer here today. Well, before the snow gets here, it's raining now. Parking lots of muddy mess, but here she is. Is there anything wrong with it? Is a scrape that happened after I committed to buy it? Uh, we're gonna get this thing wrapped anyways. So they took money off for that scratch. It happened once they serviced it and moved it around their parking lot. All right, so it's 48 footer, all aluminum. Got triple seven K axles, brand new tires, brand new wheels, brand new bearings, brand new lighting all the way around. This trailer's a one owner and was only used three times. Uh, they bought it brand new from the dealership I bought it from, and it's got new D rings on it, and then they used it about three times to go to the racetrack. Never used for commercial use, which is awesome. It's in pretty good shape. Needs a little here and there, but that's to be expected. It's a Sooner, uh, just like a Featherlight, uh, good quality, and uh, I'm pretty happy with it. There she is. 
Uh, I've already made my turns. It doesn't come close to the window, which I'm happy about. I like the way it's sitting right now. So if I back a vehicle all the way up and let it overhang, it's not gonna hit the truck. And we got 48 feet of room to play with. So that's a new addition to the, to the garage. And uh, it just needs a little work. Not much though. It's road, it's road worthy now, definitely. But for me, I'm gonna clean some things up, get the, uh, get a Kindle Enterprise wrap down the side of it. Uh, we've already, that's already in the works and scheduled and we'll be taking care of this week before we put it on the road. So let's roll. Here you go. I've got half a tank of fuel and I probably have about half a tank in the uh, auxiliary tank 12 480 i got 3200 on that trailer axle 4700 on the drives and 4500 on the steers and uh that's light low on fuel you're probably down to about about 12,000 pounds empty so that gives you 14,000 pounds to play with if you want to stay under not or stay under cdl So some of you may ask, why is this my dream trailer? Well, really always been fascinated with these, um, and they just don't make them like as aerodynamic as this trailer is. Like right now, I'm empty. Obviously, I got 15 miles to the gallon on the way out, and I got I'm getting 13.6 right now. With any of my other trailers, I get maybe 11 to 12 empty. Uh, so just being this aerodynamic, it's it's good. Um, that's just money savings right off the bat. Now, looking at the aerodynamic part of it is the enclosure underneath is massive. There's tons of storage under that, underneath that trailer, which I'll show you guys. But I think I have plans for that. I've seen this done in the past, and I know a few enclosed guys that have done that in their trailer and it is convert that storage area to a little sleeper um, put in insulation uh, maybe some thin plywood walls or something um, just to keep the noise down while you're in there uh, like a some type of like commercial carpet just something to have on the floor in there you could probably you can mind me probably fit a king size bed in there but Maybe like a, you know, a queen size mattress and box spring. I have a generator on the truck that plugs into the trailer. We have full power in the storage area and the little sleeper bunk, uh, which you can have a heat and AC in there, proper ventilation, and you know, power for whatever else you want to do in there. I can get in there, lock it from the inside. Was I gonna say and uh, you know edit videos uh, I'll be a little overboard and put a TV in there but I've seen somebody with that before um, and just have a little uh, little living area for when I'm out on the road you know put a little bit of money into it and then not have to pay for hotels one other thing I like about that would be the sleeper portion stays with the trailer no matter what truck I'm using you know say I get you know, say something would happen to this and I get another truck or the sleeper portion is always, you know, with the truck, I mean with the trailer and I don't clutter the truck up. So I get a crew cab truck, I don't clutter everything up. I can unhook from the trailer and I can, you know, take the dogs, the wife and the baby and still have a functional truck. Keep everything with the trailer, you know, generator can move from truck to truck. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna measure everything out. I was really interested to see how dry it stays in there. Uh, it's been raining this whole trip home, so that'll be a good test to tell me how dry it stays in there, um, if this will even be an option. So what I'm thinking is that, and I might section off, because it's got entry doors on both sides, I might section off a little area to put in like tools, two spare tires that I have. Um, I'll probably have like, if I don't put it on the side of the trailer, like a step ladder to, you know, secure the cars on the top without walking on the deck. 
uh, just things like that. So stay tuned for that. Uh, of course, I'll bring you guys along if I end up building that. And uh, I'm pretty happy this thing is pulling straight as can be, smooth as can be, and uh, I'm pretty happy with my purchase. So let's get home. I will see you guys tomorrow. And uh, don't forget to leave me a comment, smash the like button. Let me know what you think about this trailer.